What's happening beautiful gamers and welcome back to another episode of After Image. I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed my outfit looks absolutely different. And that is because just like I promised, I decided to go around and explore a little bit of the world, just revisit the sections before and we found this outfit, increases my max MP. Nothing insane, but it gives us this new look that is absolutely sick in my opinion. Now, you guys might be wondering, where did you get it? Well, let's start this episode by showing you guys. You guys remember the town of exile? Well, you guys see that my body's dead in here because I decided to go around and get the things that we were missing. You guys will see that in the town of exile, there was in this area right here. You guys remember I mentioned in the previous episode, this you don't need the power to be able to break it. Okay, you just need to like go down and that's it it's like literally going down it gives you a random item but that's not the, the the set i'm just letting you guys know that well there is an item here don't forget about it and if you guys remember when we were doing the exploration around this area right uh, that we saw the copy of ourselves there was a roof that was kind of like crumbling yes that roof you break it you go inside of that building and you will find the armor that i have now for today's episode, we are starting in the Rainbow Plains because during our exploration, we were able to find something in here that I want to show to you guys. And it's going to be absolutely insane. On top of that, after doing that, we will be going back to the, not the Ashen Canyon, but to the Forest for Gone. Because first, we got to explore this section right here. You guys remember, we couldn't go top because we didn't have the climbing gear, uh, class. And then there is an area up, uh, over here that we can actually explore. Once those things have been completed, we will go back to the Whispering Forest. And from there, we're going to start exploring this blue section that we have. Once all of that is done, we might go to the icy section for some extra progress. And then... Once all of that is completed, we might progress through this area or we might go to the Holy Grounds. I am not sure. Maybe even the Ashen Canyon. But right now, the reason also I'm not deciding to start from up above is because at this point, you guys are probably wondering how to go back to where you needed to go to. So I'm just going to do the walk. That way you guys can have an easier time and you guys don't have to think about it or try to figure it out. It's pretty easy though. Ah, oh, I wanted to kill it. <laughs> Our enemies pretty much die in one hit, so you guys don't really have to worry about that. Get out of here. 16 experience. You know, I'll take 16 experience. 16 experience is actually pretty good. And at this point, I want to, as always, remind to you guys that if you guys are enjoying this content, you guys are having fun, and you guys are actually liking these episodes, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below how much difficulty are you having with the bosses of this game are they being extremely challenging or are they being just fair really interested to know what are you guys thoughts on that matter let's see. keep running around give me whatever it is honestly speaking whatever they drop is nothing too crazy but Having the extra items. It's always good. Okay. Boom. Elder the Flaming Wings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yo. Oh, my God. H how am I supposed to do damage to this chicken? Let's go. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that was my bad. Ah, that, that was my bad. Beautiful dodge. Oh, that was fantastic for a lot of damage right here. Oh, to the corner. Maybe first try on this enemy. Oh, 
Oh, that was my bad. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait for the beetles. Oh, that was, oh, that was brutal. Go to the corner. Nice. Ah, that was soft. But that critical, re that critical hit right there. That critical re hit right there might be the difference between winning and losing. Oh, that was bad. One more healing. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, but you are pretty much dead now, chicken. This is one of the elite enemies, so that's why I wanted to start this episode by showing it to you guys. Just like that, we take down the beautiful guardian of this world, the Master Chicken. Burning Plume, huh? What are you about? Let's see. Burning Plume. A plume that keeps flaming, does not feel hot when holding in hand, but comes a power that can resist some pyro power. Cannot be used, but we also got a pretty crazy sight. Is it better than the Moonblade? Maybe. The whip is absolutely insane, so we are actually gonna keep it. Let's see. 105 damage, increases pyro damage, and increases pyro resistance. Actually, it's not bad. But I really like my sword. But you know what? We we definitely gotta gotta get moving with this. And then from here, just stick to the right, because I saw something before. There you go. And we get another divine flower. Now, after doing that, honestly speaking, if you guys see the map, there would be nothing else. That's kind of strange. I thought we had climbed from here. Yeah, we, we went from the top and then crawl all the way down. And then from here, there is really nothing else for us to do other than just fall and get hit by this thing. <laughs> so, yeah, all of this has been explored. Absolutely beautiful. The whole world that we are encountering right now, there is really nothing for us to, to check out. Just going on the top of certain surfaces and try to get whatever we can. See that? And uh, Pompeii is magical letter. So let's explore all of this. Honestly speaking, this is something that I didn't know it was there. I just saw it while we were going down. I saw, huh, maybe we can go here. This is like kind of like out of place. So let's verify what we got to see if something is kind of cool. And just like I mentioned, this episode, I want to focus it on making sure that we are becoming stronger. Honestly speaking, I like it, but I don't like it because I want my... I don't use the weapon skills, so it's not really that good. And this is for mages, so whoever wants to play mage, be my guest. We also got something called Pompeii's Note. And that Pompeii's Note should be in my items. This is another piece of the broken mask, so these two go together. Still do not know how to fuse them, but we gotta find them and then here it is. That's for you guys to read. It's a lot of information, but you guys can hit it up. And with all of that done, then it's already time for us to move away from the Rainbow Plains. There's plenty of things we can still go to this section up above. But now it's time for us to visit the beautiful Whispering Forest one more time. We're going to be doing just like, well, no, not the Whispering Forest. What are you talking about? The Forest for Gone. From here, we'll get whatever it's in here, whatever it's in there, and then... We'll do a progression. We have so little of this. Hmm. You know what? I'll just go back manually because I don't really want to use. We have little restings. So I'll see you guys in a second. And now that we're back on the beautiful forest, it's time for us to get the next item. This is not the first one that we gotta get. Wait, is that thing doing damage? Oh no, it's doing fire damage. No, I thought it was doing crits every hit. Oh wait. Get that thing out of my face. Get the bad wings, and now we gotta kill... We don't have to kill anybody. Let's go. And what do we have in here? An earth rock shaft, or a staff. That could be nice, however, we do have to verify what is that for. Because it could be worse than the one that I have equipped right now. Let's see. Equipment... It is actually worse, but... But, but, but... Just consider that if you guys haven't found this one, again, I found this one in the, if I'm not mistaken, in the Whispering Village, if I'm not mistaken, in that hole that I told you guys about, uh, you should be able to find it. Uh, I could be wrong also, because 
I did a lot of exploration and I kinda don't remember quite well. I even went to the first places of this way. Was this able to be destroyed? It doesn't really matter. Who, who shoot at me? That thing, that chicken is, that chicken is getting to me. Now, perfect. Now that he's dead, I can just cook. And the only downside that we have is that now we can actually explore through the top. Uh, but there is no real reason, really? Ah, come on, that's a straight up cheating. Like, there, there, there had to be something in there. Have you found the ancient sp- You mean this meat? And garden be- And can we craft it? Not yet. Ah, oh, come on. But this one will increase my main weapon attack, so boom, spend the money for it. Wait for that chicken, let him go down, and then... Just kill him. Get that. And right off the get-go, go to your items and let's have a delicious meal. It does increase my main weapon attack for a short period of time, so maybe I'll save it for a boss fight instead. Yeah, let's save it for a boss fight instead. Don't care about you. Charge your powers on him. Yep, enemies are becoming easier and easier to defeat. Ignore him. Mm. Nice. Honestly speaking, against flying enemies, the whip is like the best weapon because trying to defeat any flying enemies without being able to like jump up doesn't really feel that good. And I got a bad feeling about this area. I might be wrong though, because maybe this is the end of the area and that's it. Huh. Who would have thought it is actually the end of the area? And it's really disappointing. <laughs> Music changed. But yeah, I mean that this is this has been explored, so there is absolutely nothing else. We can actually remove this marker. Now that we don't care about it, now it's time for us to finish up the exploration. Uh, this area right here cannot be explored because we have blocked in here with the red laser of fire or demonic presence, whatever it is. So now it's time for us to teleport back to the Whispering Forest and go down through the icy section where we might have to defeat a boss, but honestly, now I, I actually know where is he located, so we're not going to be going to him until we are prepared. Because he is not an easy fit. Uh, that's it. Honestly speaking, that's the only boss fight that we have done so far. That I had to like leave because I was like, oh, this is tough. I know that we left the boss fight that one shot at us. But that's a different story. Any boss that one shots you, you have 100% the right to leave. Okay? Hey, die! Oh, you guys want some of this? How about increase my power and my defense and I kick you guys butt? Stupid enemies. Wow, did we just... Oh no, we crit him twice. I was like, did we just one-shot him? No, but we crit him twice, so that makes sense. Two hits to kill those. See, that's what I'm talking about. We're becoming stronger, and I really love that. One thing that I do want to point out that I'm a little bit disappointed is that I would have expected some sort of... How do you call that? Cutscene from our little friend Ifrit once we feel once we kill that phoenix, yes? Because he, so he said at the beginning of the game, that is the guardian of this region. And then we defeated the guardian of the region, and Ifrit was like... Okay, good job. Have a good day. Whoa! What was that? Why did it take damage? Oh, it's water. Fuck. Okay. You know what? We gotta we gotta mark it down. Uh, right here, there is some treasure. Okay. And then I believe that from here is just going down to yeah the boss. Yeah, even even if we even if we don't really want to fight him, we have to. Because everything else is kind of like blocked off. And then this one right here, I think is blocked off too. We'll see. 
but this is where we're gonna be going and well you know what let's say that this episode is gonna be all about bosses so let's just do that for you guys let's finish let's finish up some exploration though just in case there's something yep you gotta come from the other side and how do we kill this guy Oh, wow! Hello, that was not fair. That was my fault. Just like I mentioned to you guys, enemies in this area are not pushovers. Like, they are strong. So if you really want to mess with them, you can be my guest. I don't really encourage it. But hey, we can actually play with the cheese too. Uh, well, you guys know how it is. Enemies don't really... Cannot really survive cheats, so... Let's go. This whole area right here, you guys see it. Every single enemy has been frozen to death. Which means trouble. <laughs> uh, let's use this portion to use our... Or increase in, in items. So we're gonna be eating this. Now we have a little bit more power for a short period of time. We do not know how, do how long is that gonna last. And then... Yeah, I guess it's boss fight. You guys see him right there, yes? You guys can see him right there, yes? That's the guy that we gotta fight. Stay away from me. Mm, oh wait, we cannot take him back. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Okay, be careful with his powers. One, two, he's gonna do it again. This is this is one of those fights that you actually gotta stay close to the enemy if you really wanna like do something or have a chance against him. Okay, we, we might die and that's unfortunate. Yeah, th those knives right there, I honestly do not know how to really deal with them. Yeah, because you cannot really hit them. And that's the sad part. Oh yeah, you can! Let's go! Ooh, whoa! What are you gonna do now? Okay. Now we now that we understand your powers, we might be able to kill you. Second phase. Ooh! That was a one shot, not fair. Okay. Time for round number two. Let's see what he's gonna do. We can actually send his powers back, so I'm not too worried about that. We have already understand how to really fight this guy, so... We just gotta be really patient and use our powers. Ah, that was my bad. Use this opportunity to heal up, because he, can re he cannot really do anything against you. Use the knives. Mm, I thought he was going to do the knives. Nice, and back. Oh, come on. Oh, don't kill me. Uh, oh, they, they, they actually bounce? Okay, and now he has a double combo. Boy. Now he's gonna do it again. Do it again. Beautiful. Now, are you gonna throw at me the, the knives? Oh, that's my bad. Come on. 
Oh, we were missing every single hit. We oh the knife Zeus pounds. Oh no. I think I finally have this ba this battle nail. At the very least, all the way until. At the very least, all the way until phase number two. Before phase number two, everything is kind of like pretty easy and trivial. Just like I said, we don't understand the battle, so it's in phase number two where he becomes really smart and he starts changing directions. That's 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 when the real battle begins. Boy, that was not fair. He should have yeah transformed. Yeah, he did the change in directions, and that's what got me. Hmm. Now hit him. Get away from him, cause he's gonna straddle hit you one more time. Okay, that's great. What are you gonna do now? One, two, great. Jump, that's fine. Now, avoid those knives, those knives are horrible. Ah, that got me right there, pretty bad. But, but he, this is, this is fine, we have him. I might take away what I said. I don't think we have him. But I do need to do some damage to him. What are you gonna do now? Ah, fuck. Okay. Stay away from him. Let's use one healing just in case, because we may need it. Beautiful dodges. Okay, nice. Oh, 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 get the healing. We needed to use one of the maximum healings, and that's never good. He should die around now. Oh, no! Yes! What a tough fight, I gotta be honest. Oh, baby, that took a while. Now we hit uh, something called Steam Crystal and Aloof Ness. So I don't know what was you supposed to be, but he's been defeated. And we used most of our items, so let's make sure that we remove this from our quick slot. Uh, you do that by actually replacing it. And then in equipment, we can see our new weapon. This site is so good. When equipped, the weapon skill prelude is strength. So he, it just, it's just nice. But the new sword that we got, what did you do? So much damage. Look at that. So much damage. And now we have hydro damage. It's really, it's actually really good. It's actually really good. 125 in comparison to everything else. And the whip is cool because the whip is just for aerial damage. So, with that done, the next thing that we actually gotta do is go back to this area. So, we will be teleporting to the Whispering Forest and then go to the section of uh, Vo. That's gonna, that might take a little bit if I gotta be honest. But honestly speaking, with all of this done, really, really wanted to to take an opportunity to show you guys how to defeat these bosses cause I don't really like doing bosses on my own if I gotta be honest like if if there is a boss it needs to be defeated with you guys yes or yes but anyways I hope that you guys are enjoying these episodes I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching and well next episode we will keep progressing through the whole story of the game don't forget that we are going to be going through this area up over here so i will be showing up right here so we can start doing the climb up and then after we have cleared up that map i guess it will be time for us to proceed proceed through whatever it is that we have in here unless 
we need to go through the holy grounds or we have a way to well wake up whoever the heck is the person that is sleeping here anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one